Whoa. Oscorp looks like a bomb went off. Or a bunch of them. We need to find out who did it. Great. Listen, I know you Task Force guys think I'm the second coming of Al Capone, but there's a bigger threat right now. The Goblin gave us this armor after he sprung us from Ravencroft. We work for him, and he wants you alive or dead. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go with option two. Another one? Listen, guys, I know crazy doesn't need a reason, but I've never met this goblin you keep talking about. And he's paying us to bring you to him in pieces, if that's what it takes. You're gonna love this! Well, I will. All mine. Got the... That's the same kind of Oscorp tech the task force uses. Where'd you get it? What did you do to Harry Osborne? <laughs> yeah, that's what you did to him you should worry about. And what he's gonna do to you. Hey, you'll be less nervous if you picture me naked. You know what? That's weird. Don't do that. Someone spent a lot of money on him. You know, water balloons would be a much better weapon. Would I lie to you? You're not taking this seriously. Or are you really that slow? Have a bomb. Let's see this again in slow motion. Okay, listen up, minion number four. I want answers. Your pals made it sound like Harry Osborn is this goblin person. But he'd never do that to his own company. I guess you don't know the boss as well as you thought. Chew on this. If he'd do that to Oscorp, what would he do to you? <laughs> Harry? Oh, God. Harry Osborne, is that really you? Does it look like me? No. Harry Osborne's dead thanks to you. All that's left is the goblin. You couldn't wait, could you? <clears throat> you tried something else. Richard Parker's spider venom. And look, I'm a new man. I warned you, what could happen? I'm dying, you idiot. What else was I supposed to do? You could have let me do research. No. From now on, I take what I want, no matter who I have to kill. <laughs> Meets the goblin. I thought there was fire trucks there. Are you serious? I have to be shot up at the task force? That's great. I mean, come on. I just... Why do we have to go all the way over here to fight Harry Osborn? And get shot at by the task force the whole way. Let's heal up before we gotta do anything else. The game? It's alright, but... The damn... Annoyances in it are just so stupid. It doesn't matter how much goodwill you do. At all. It just doesn't matter.
I mean, why do you have to web sling the whole way across all over the place? If you want help, you don't have to fight me. I'll do whatever I can to cure you. And turn me back into that wine you trust, my lady? I don't think so. Listen, what you've done didn't just affect your body. It's twisted your mind. You have to let me... Wrong! I don't have to let anyone do anything! That's the old me. Always waiting for Daddy to come and hug me and make it all better. Well, he never did. But it doesn't matter now! I can make it better myself. Well, better for me. Not so good for you! <laughs> Why are we chasing him? I'll analyze your corpse and find out why you're stable. Then I'll do it myself. You're the police, but keep the power! <laughs> That's the first time anyone's called me stable. I gotta admit, you've set the bar pretty low. <laughs> I'm sorry for what happened to you, but I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone. You have a choice. My father failed. You failed me. It's like I always said. You have to look out for yourself. Your father failed you because he spent all his time trying to extend his life instead of living it. Don't make the same mistake, Harry. This is crazy. You're not helping anyone doing this. Not even yourself. fight instead. Oh, you should see me do the worm. Well, this is a cool action scene. Don't care who gets caught in the middle of your grudge match. These are people, Harry. People with lives, with families and friends who love them. Just because you didn't have that doesn't give you the right to take it from anyone else. No one gave a damn about me. Why should I care about them? figure out how to get myself out like yours. I'd be a much better Spider-Man than you ever were. Snazzy or costume, maybe some accessories. I got it. Spider! That's enough! I know 
you're dying. I know you've had it rough, but I'm not gonna let that hold me back anymore. I'm sorry, Harry. <laughs> no! You can't do this to me! I'm the goblin! I'm strong! No one's ever gonna hurt me again! Minor adjustment? Hey, you'll be less nervous if you picture me naked. You know what? That's weird. Don't do that. Spikes? Kill me. I don't want to live like this. <sighs> That's never the answer. It's the easy way out. You think it's hard for you? There are people sick, dying all over the world, some with the same disease, who don't have your money or resources. Even if you, you don't want to answer fighting for your for mistakes, yourself and do you whatever you them. can to make up for them. The greatest man I ever knew. Tom. Well, that was by far the funnest boss battle that I had so far. I mean, Electro I didn't like, and I mean, it was alright, and Kingpin and Shocker and all those guys, but this was actually visually stimulating, if that makes sense. So, I did like the goblin fight, um, the running through the buildings and things like that. I did like that, ramming them into walls. I wish the other fights were like that. But this one seemed to be the cherry on top of the cake, as I guess. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.